Welcome everybody to a new video on CSS. Uh, today I'm going to answer one of the questions I've been asked uh, on my previous video, and it is how to fix uh, aspect ratio for blocks depending on the width that uh, they are supposed to take. All right, so let's jump into the code, and here we go. So I'm going to start by um, creating a container. And this container, I'm going to just like give him uh, a little bit of border so we can just see um, the size and everything, what's inside. All right. So the question is, how can I fix aspect ratio of one block? So let's say I want um, an image to be like in 16 by 9 or something like this. Um, and I'm going to do this right now. So I'm going to call it um, ratio, for instance. Doesn't really matter. And th the easiest way to do this is to just uh, specify a padding top. Um, so whether it is padding top, padding bottom, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, but what you can do is define it to be 100%. So in this case, I'm going to use background color and I'm going to use um, something uh, that we can see. There we go. So now you can see <coughs> my block here gets exactly the same height here than it gets width of its width. So a ratio here is one on one. If I go here and say I just want 50%, then you see now that my height here is half of the width. What you need to know and understand is that percentage is based on the width of the maximum width of the of what the block can take so if i go here and specify a width and say it is 100 pixel for instance that padding top 50 percent is always going to take 50 percent of the maximum width available so i'm going to actually change this to something a little bit more reddish so we're going to say um Let's use something like F0 and hmm, uh, let's go for, I don't know, 80, 80, doesn't really matter. But you see that if I expand that window, so I expand the width available for this block, it grows in height at the like half of what's available even though the block itself is not as big so the way you do um, if you want to have something a little bit smaller is you actually need to reduce the container itself so this is 100 percent of the width available and now you go back to your aspect ratio of one height is equal to two width. So you need to grow it 200, 200 pixel to grow 100 pixel high. All right, so that's the base thing. Uh, and that's the main reason on how to do aspect ratio and stuff. And I'm going to grow this one a little bit like here so we can see something a bit better. Um, but now sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to read the reason with how to do 16 by 9 in terms of percentage. And that's where the property calc come in. So if we go here and say 100%, we do have a square because it's like 400 pixel wide. And then we have 100% of those 400 pixel that gets added as padding top. But what you can do is you can use the calc to divide things. So for instance, here, I go back to 50%, so there we go. But what you can do is define it to be more explicitly aspect ratio two by one. 
So the way it works is it's 100% divided by 2, and then you multiply by um, your height aspect ratio. It does something like this, basically, just because of the order in which uh, the operation had done. Uh, but what you can do is you can remove that order and put it as if it is this way and divide this guy here. And now you can go and say, I want 16 by nine. And now you have 16 by nine aspect ratio for your block. So it's really convenient because now you can do whatever you want. If you want not 15 by nine, uh, 16 by nine, you want 16 by 10. There you go. And it's really easy to reason and you don't have to remember like specific numbers of percentage and stuff. Um, so it's really, really, really simple for you. Remember that, again, all of this is based on the maximum width available. So if your block isn't taking 100%, you'll get scuffed, um, uh, scuffed ratio. So if I go here and I remove this guy, this definitely is not 16 by 10. Um, the container itself will be 16 by 10 because it's going to be 100% and then this is the 16 by 10 high of this. But your container in red here won't be 16 by 10. So you want absolutely... So this is 16 by 10. This also is 16 by 10, but smaller. All right. So um, now that we have this, um, there is one problem is if I go here and let me add my paragraph here and I'm going to use white as a color. If I start writing stuff, you obviously see that those paragraph um, add to the, um, to the height of your uh, block. So basically, it's not 16 by 10 anymore. So what you need to see is your block ratio here is What's highlighted here is the padding top, and then you have the actual height of the um, inside of the element. But you want your block to be only the padding top, so you need to force it to be only the padding top. So the way you do it is you give it position. So in this case, it is position relative, and I'm gonna just like. Uh, add another div and it's going to say uh, content for instance and I'm going to take those paragraphs put them inside here and now what you need to do is say that that content actually also has a position and this one is going to say absolute so if if you look here now you see that all of my text is below my uh, reddish block and that's just because the position absolute by default starts at 100% of the top but we can fix this really simply say hey top zero so now our first um, our block content here which is I'm gonna highlight here content is inside here starts and you can see here at the top of our block and on the left of our block. So in this case, let's say we want to say that our paragraph don't have a margin. You may want to say this is one rem, for instance. The left is going to be one rem. So we have like a small whatever change and stuff. And here you have. So if you go and you write stuff, you'll see that, and I'm going to write this in blue. Now we have another problem. And because our block is locked in the aspect ratio of 16 by 10, um, it can overflow. Uh, if you have too much content, it can just overflow. And that's one of the problems that you need to consider if you want to absolutely lock down content you'll get overflow and there's not really anything you can do about it uh, except either grow that block 
to be able to still being 16 by 10 um, make the content fit inside or you need to cut the content and add some um, scroll or whatever. So the way you do it is uh, by using overflow, uh, either hidden or whatever, um, whatever you, you need. And in this case, you see it doesn't do anything because we don't define the actual height or width of this specific content. And the way we do it is just say, I want the bottom to be at one rem of this block. And just for good measure, we're gonna say, it's gonna also finish on the right side of one rem here. You could also specify this on the ratio. So basically you say everything that go outside of that block that is nested inside, so obviously content is nested in ratio, will be cut, but then you lose that kind of fake padding. padding. Um, so it's not super, super great. So in those cases, I always feel like this is better. And of course, here you can uh, define other things. Like you can say, hey, you have a scroll if you want to have like a scroll. Um, and if you don't want like the horizontal one, you just define scroll Y. And then here you have your scroll and you can do your things, knowing that your block is always gonna be with the same ratio. And that's why you see me use uh, a lot of calc based on those 100% divided by an aspect ratio, uh, because it's like super convenient if you want to display kind of pictures um, and stuff like this. So I'm actually going to uh, do another video on how to do this specifically for pictures because I think um, most people are not aware of the specific um, way you can tell your pictures inside a block of a specific aspect ratio and people tend to do containers and then do backgrounds and stuff where actually the image tag is available for every browser now um, where you can do specific things like cover, um, uh, contentful and stuff like this. So it's going to be the next video and hopefully this explained a little bit about um, how to deal with uh, specific aspect ratio with CSS. Um, one of the big limitation is obviously this is uh, great when your blocks are width define. If you want to do the same thing based on height, it's a different conversation and I'm going to do um, another video on this at some point as well, uh, but you need to do it very differently. So it's going to be for another video. Up until then, cheers and see you in the next video. Bye.